Enhancing farm dams can be a great way to enhance biodiversity on farms, particularly for woodland birds and for threatened wildlife. Enhanced Farm Dam is a dam where you've limited stock access so that you can allow the native vegetation to regenerate and to act as a biofilter to filter out any nutrients and fecal matter and fertilizers. So when you have high rainfall events, um, just to filter out whatever you don't want coming into the dam from being washed in. So it's a really good idea to look at your dams and see whether you might be able to enhance um, the biodiversity values for your property because water is a really key resource for a whole range of wildlife and insects. We've also found that the complex habitats that these fence dams provide support much higher levels of bird breeding behaviour than unfenced dams. Fenced dams have the potential to support a wide array of microhabitats and habitat features that often aren't found at unfenced dams or other plantings. So things like mature trees, which have uh, hollows and huge nectar and flower lows, which are really important for um, native animals and mammals and birds specifically. Long grass is also really important, so both for birds that nest in long grass, but then also long grass near water is really important shelter for ducks and wetland birds. Shrubs are, and that dense foliage associated with them is really important shelter for small and medium sized birds. Aquatic vegetation, which is vital for water birds to build their nests. Um, things like greaves, which build really intricate floating nests on the water. Emergent vegetation, which frogs and insects attach their eggs to. So really important breeding habitat. And then also having water at different depths creates refuge for frogs and turtles. So by helping to protect all of those different elements, you can help to transform your farm dam into a biodiversity hotspot. You can create shallow benches around the edges of dams. The shallow benches will let certain plants grow which only grow in shallow water and make it more productive. That marginal vegetation is really critical. It helps to reduce turbidity, uh, nutrients and water contamination. So you're helping to ensure that you've got clean drinking water for livestock. This particular dam has been widened out, benches put in, scalloping on the edge to increase the area of the edge, and plants introduced, and some trees, branches and logs put in to create perching spaces for the birds. This dam is used by a whole range of different bird species that's adjacent to a remnant. If you are worried about limiting your stock access and not having constant access to the dam for watering, um, you can think about adding in a stock access point like this hardened access point here. Um, so that just means that you're still fencing off the majority of the farm dam for biodiversity values, but you're still having constant water um, access. Um, a good way to do it is to have a gate over that access point so that you can control when you're letting stock access it so that you can use it when you need it. Uh, the landholder out here are actually fenced off his dams approximately 20 years. He's done lots of planting and regeneration on his farm. He's had really great results. We found diamond fire tails, which are threatened species nesting on his dams. We've actually, we're lucky enough to see greaves nesting and hatching on one of his dams while we were here doing surveys. Like he's got amazing wildlife on his dams um, and biodiversity was a big motivator for him. So.